Previously on Drake Paragon. The entrance is getting smaller. We could have left. Icebergs at this time of year do block the harbor. Hope I don't end up regretting that. Oh my god! Look, 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 there he's lighting up, he's lighting up. We gotta wait for the wind to die down. Yeah. Are we all prepped on deck? In the open ocean and lots of ice. There's no place like Greenland. We'll be back again someday. Have some uh, some rough weather and stuff. Yeah. I think it's going to be a good trip. I have a feeling about it. Goodbye, weather station. Thanks for everything. <laughs> <laughs> I heard barking last night, and I was oh, absolutely convinced that there was a polar bear up there. Yeah, yeah, I heard the barking too. No, I was like, why would they be barking in the middle of the night like that if there wasn't, you know, an intruder? And I was thinking, I can't wait to get out of here tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not gonna see them again for a while. Imagine this trip's in winter. When it's not navigable at all, no ships can get anywhere around here. The whole place is full of those things. Yeah. It must be the most amazing sight on earth. The side of the vein that you want pointing into the wind is the side of the vein with this weight on it. You got to point the weight side into the eye of the wind. As you tug on this red and green line, you can, you can swivel the base of that thing. It pretty much stays straight on. And then if the boat turns to starboard, then the whole boat, and including the fin, will turn and get knocked down like that. When that happens, the fin in the water pulls on the red line. We want the red line to turn us to port, to get us back on course. So, red line turns us to port. We need to make sure we hook it up on the wheel correctly. We're on our way. Yeah. Yeah. We're out of the sea. There's a growler on the uh, port side. There actually might be two. I took a look, I didn't see any. They're there. Port side, off the bow. I don't know exactly how far, but you can see them in the waves every once in a while. They look, you know, about the size of a half a car. What's the weather like, Monique? It's windy. How windy? Damn windy. My God. Windy. <laughs> uh, it's going 24, 25 knots right now. Waves are starting to pick up a little bit. 
There's a lot of current coming around the headlands and stuff. With us. Mm -hmm. Which is nice. Uh, 26 knots. Really? I think so will be a bit more comfortable, I think, after we get the sails up. Yep. It's crazy that all this is under ice for most of the year. Just getting the main up is going to be a bit what? I said getting the main up will be a little hairy in this way. You're going to out reef it, eh? Uh, I know I've, I've already double reefed it, yeah. I have a feeling we're just going to have double reef the main for the entire for the trip. For the entire trip, yeah. That's not unlikely. Oh, that's cool. Aren't you glad you're not down below in bed feeling sick? So? <sighs> Sleeping is very good for me. <laughs> That's the same on land! <laughs> we should put these on. But if we had to like spring on deck to deal with something, it'd be better if our harnesses were on. If we're sprung. If we're sprung. Like when a girl walks in with an itty bitty waist. With a what? <laughs> an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face. Get sprung! I don't know this one, but it's pretty funny. You don't know that song? No. <laughs> yes, you do. So, we basically tried to raise the sail and go into the lane from the uh, last first steerage. So, Drake set up the autopilot as kind of a temporary steering and back to land now and we're just going to try and get back into the weather station and uh, we're just breaking up the emergency the trailer. Trailer. Yeah. just kind of just keep a watch now make sure we don't hit anything pointy that's that's a big one
cable rides on and the wheel is secured to the bulkhead with a bolt and uh, apparently the nut on the other side of the bolt came out and uh, and the wheel fell off giving too much slack to the cable. We have zero, zero steering from the wheel. How is it possible that you're on an autopilot now then? Uh, we've got a hydraulic ram hooked up to the steering quadrant and it is steering. Nice. The problem is, as you know, sometimes it has a rudder drive failure, sometimes it fails. If it does fail, you hit standby and then hit auto again and then it tries again. You have the emergency pillar set up also. The emergency pillar is simply just rigged up. The problem is where you can work the tiller, you can't see anything. You can't see forward, stick your head out, but with the deck box and the dinghy and, and the enclosure in Who the way, that? you can't see anything forward. My name would be what's just for the captain's name, so I start Sounds good. I'll put a route in all the way back to the station. Weather station, Prince Christian Sun. Weather station, Prince Christian Sun. Weather station, Prince Christian Sun. This is sailing vessel Paragon, Paragon, Paragon. Over. Hello, uh, this is Paragon, the boat that left your dock this morning. We actually got out into the water and our steering cables broke. We are steering our boat with an emergency pillar and are returning uh, just to let you know if it's okay. We'd like to come back over. Thank you very much. We expect to be there in about an hour. We'll see you soon and we thank you very much. Paragon standing by channel 09 and 16. How are you doing, Ada? Just reflect we have a big here path ahead of us. <coughs> We're now scanning on channel 16 and 9, 9, the station of the weather station. We are moving at 5 knots. I think as long as conditions are pretty light and there's not much pressure on the on the rudder then the hydraulic autopilot and handle may be able to use this to navigate us all the way to the dock. And if not, I'll jump on the killer, but then I need some DPL you know, which way to steer. Back to the weather station. Ireland looks really weird. There are yeah. a lot of glaciers. That's a lot like Greenland. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for everything. I have a cup of tea. So we're basically on the southeast coast of Greenland. Uh, we tried to leave and head down southeast to Ireland. Uh, but um, the steering cables for the rudder have um, come away from a wheel, so we have to do some repairs. So we're on emergency steerage on the way back into the weather station. Uh, we've called the weather station and Drake's uh, doing a passage plan now. Um, so we have steering by the autopilot, the Faruna autopilot, but there's also the emergency tiller, uh, which it just comes up into the, the aft cabin. So we're heading back in now and we're going to get back into the weather station and get ready to go. So that's what's happening now. Our position is 60 degrees 2.1 minutes north and 43 degrees 2.4 minutes west, a 
over. That is correct. Over. Okay, we try to uh, locate you on the map. Thank you very much. We're doing well here. We're uh, steering with a with a emergency tiller and uh, ringing up lines on our starboard side. Uh, thank you so much. Over. Oh, next wave. Uh, Which wave was it? It's 25. Uh, we are currently in 25 knots of wind. Over. Affirmative. I think we are doing well. I think we can get all the way back to the dock. We do not require assistance at this time. Over. Okay. Then we will be ready to help you when you come to the harbor. Thank you very much. We will call you as we are uh, approaching uh, the weather station. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Paragon standing by 09 and 16. They're so nice. Thank you, Mars. I think he was prepared to come out and get us. So. That's what he was asking for. Really. That's very nice. If she seems to be handling okay, we're going downwind. She can deal with that okay. I think for just getting us to the weather station, the autopilot's going to be fine, but I can't, like, in order to like really turn the boat or pivot the boat in place, you need to turn the helm all the way over to starboard or to port, and then give it a hard burst of, of throttle and then back down. And we can't do that with the autopilot. You have to do that with the tiller. Okay. I may ask you to do that. Let's go down, and I'll just say, you know. All the way over to starboard, all the way over to port. It's actually not so easy to do. You're gonna have to like brace your feet and, and push it all the way over. Okay. But maybe that's just because we're underway and there's pressure on the rudder, but it was pretty hard to do. Are the other drop lines down below? I put them under your seat. I put them under my seat. And they smell like fish. This is the wheel that broke. It's just a bolt though, right? Actually, it may be more than a bolt. Really? Maybe if we get all of our excitement out in the very beginning, the rest of the trip will just be okay. Not here between my legs <laughs> and uh, just practicing with the emergency tiller before we actually get if I'm like this I can't really see what's going on yeah. but if I use my, my legs and stuff then I can, I can bring can it from the side yeah here to steer to starboard uh, I push it this way so I push it left and then the boat goes this way to so move the whole boat to port then I have to move the tiller this way which brings the rudder like this which means we go that way so that's how it works Okay. One, two, three, there, right there. Perfect. How are you able to maintain course so well? You're maintaining, you're maintaining course perfectly. Yeah? Yeah. So if I need you to turn to starboard, yeah. I'll say like hard starboard or, yeah. or slow turn to starboard. Yeah. 
and then as the boat turns, I'll go five, four, three, two, one, and then lock. Should, uh, call the weather station. The entrance is right there. We want to go 10 degrees to starboard. Okay. Spend the entire trip to Ireland right there. Be great. Go on one. Put a um, we'll put a skirt, like a kayak skirt, around the hatch. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be at the engine controls and you're going to be fending with the pole, throwing lines to them. We have uh, all the lines set up, bow, stern, and uh, spring so both directions. Is that the entrance right there? I think it is, actually, yes. Uh, I'm going to Lars Lurie get mad at you. I don't think Lars is listening to the radio, but all of the station personnel have VHS and I hear them talking to each other in Greenlandic. I wonder if we should wait and circle out here until they're available to help us with dock lines or if we should just do it. You see yeah. the iceberg? I see the, this one here? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I see that one. And I saw that one. I'm going to reduce speed. You want to kind of head, start heading towards I can, that? I can start heading in there. Yeah, start heading towards the iceberg. Okay. And I'll go slow. Do nice white air. Weather station, Prince Christian Sun. This is sailing vessel Paragon. We are half a mile from the dock and are approaching the dock. We're having difficulty with our steering, so it's going to be a little difficult for us to dock. If, if anyone can help us with dock lines, it would be appreciated. Otherwise, we'll try to just do it ourselves. Hello, this is Christian, so we are going out What do you say? <laughs> Uh, thank you, thank you. We can see the weather station and we're coming in now. Yes, we can see you too. Thank you, okay, we're coming in. Remember that guy from the, the what was it, the Sesame Street? <laughs> Oscar the Grouch? <laughs> yes. I... God damn it, I'm steering this boat. <laughs> Get over how beautiful it is. Well, keep your mind on the job at hand. I mean, you feel like you're on another planet, for, for God's sakes. Don't forget to steer your little man in the back, eh? <laughs> what do you want me to throw first, bow or stern? Bow. Start to slowly turn the port. Turning now! Yeah, keep that iceberg right off the starboard bow. Okay, I'm going to lose sight of that iceberg in about okay. 10 seconds. Bye. The wind is going to be blowing us away from the dock. Prep a bow line, Mo. I think we're just going to have to tie it onto the chain of the tire. Can you do a fast bowling? Uh, 20 degrees to port. 20 degrees to port. Okay. Hard to port. I keep it hard to port and lock it right there. We're in neutral. Hard to port. And lock it, lock it, lock it right there. Hard to port, hard to port. And straighten out, straighten out. Can you slow us down? We're coming in a little fast. I know, I know. We're in neutral. Slightly to starboard. And get ready for hard to port. Hard to port, hard to port. Hard to port. Uh, starboard, hard starboard. 
Hard to starboard. Stand by for hard to port. Stand by and hard to port. Yes, please. We have a, uh, uh, this is on our steering yeah. down below. The, okay. A wire goes around it and it fell off. Oh, okay. So then we lost all, all the steering. Oh my God. Yeah.